Let the living soul shout hallelujah. Let the living soul shout hallelujah. Living God, oh, even the devil know, say not true. Oh. I serve a living God, oh, everybody know, say now you there. I serve a living God, oh, I serve a living God, oh, even the devil know, say not true.
ni munini baba o
the day we have waited for it has come to pass see what the Lord has done O kitala baraku to me hele O kitala baraku to me hele 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 O lama la ruku to pa da watu pe O kitala baraku Father, we just bless you. We give you praise. Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing, it will not be enough. Lord, we just say thank you. Accept our praise. Accept our worship. Clothe us even more with the garment of praise. Today, in the name of Jesus, let your praise be high. Open our hearts, oh God, that we might see you even clearer. In the name of Jesus, take all the glory today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. If it was not that this year is a leap year, today would have been mommy's birthday. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 But we bless God for the leap year. Hopefully there's nobody's birthday that is on this leap year. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We just want to bless the name of the Lord and we bless God that we are all gathered today. Uh, so today we're going to do things a bit different. We're just going to go forward to declaring the Psalms and just declaring the praise of God by reading scripture together. Amen. Are we ready? And I believe that um, uh, we're excited to see uh, Pastor, Pastor Guti. We're excited to see you, Sam Mount. We're excited to see you, ma'am. And we're excited to see Winners Assembly Choir. We look forward to So after the Psalms, uh, it, will be, it will be the Winners Assembly Choir by God's grace. Amen. Yes, yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, choir. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're just going to declare, declare the Psalms together unto the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's start from Psalm 114. Psalms 114. Hallelujah. Engineer, we're ready. All right. One, two, go. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of a strange language. All right. The other way we do this is go back, please. To verse one. Where you find Israel, you put your family name. You put your name. Hallelujah. Okay. When Agwala went out of Egypt, the house of Uluamaiwa from a people of a strange language. Okay. Agwala was his sanctuary, and Uluamaiwa was his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams. And the little hills like lambs. What ill thee, O thou sea, that thou fleddest, thou Jordan, that thou, thou was driven back? Ye mountains that ye skip like rams, and ye little hills like lamb. It says, Tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Abola which turned the rock into a standing water 
and the flint into a fountain of waters hallelujah let's go to psalm 146 psalm 146 Alright, one to go. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put on your trust. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his hurt, in that very day his thoughts perish happy is he that had the god of pastor rachel as his help whose hope is in the lord his god which made heaven and earth the sea and all that there is therein which keepeth truth forever which executed judgment for the oppressed which giveth food to the hungry the lord loseth the prisoners it says the Lord openeth the eyes of the blind, the Lord raiseth them that are bowed down, the Lord loveth the righteous. It says the Lord preserveth the strangers, he relieveth the fatherless and the widow, but the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Pastor Rachel, unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Finally, let's do Psalm 150. Let's go. One, two. It says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the sob tree and harp. Praise him with the timbre and dance. Praise him with stringed instrument and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath bread praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Okay, so uh, with, a, with a Jesus joy, please welcome with me the RCCG Winners Assembly Choir as they lead us in praise of the Lord for the next 30 minutes. Hallelujah. If you're excited, please let your clap sound better. Hallelujah. Let your clap be louder. Hallelujah. 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 Are you excited in the presence of the Lord? Come on, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us celebrate God for the life of our mommy. 10 years, 20 years, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, just like that, just Hi. like yesterday. Hallelujah. Bible says we should number our days so that we can put it in our minds, all that the Lord has done. Indeed, that's why we are here today, to praise God. Hallelujah. Father, we want to thank you. Thank you because we are not standing before a cup. We are not paying one minute silence concerning our mommy. He has fulfilled the scripture and we want to thank you for this wonderful opportunity to join the host of heaven to say thank you to say thank you we say thank you we say thank you we are grateful we are grateful we are grateful yes jesus we are grateful we are grateful we are grateful great is your faithfulness Oh Lord and my Father, there is no shadow of turning with Thee. Thou changest not Thy compassions, they fail not. 
Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I serve a God who is wonderful. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Come on. Aha. Is somebody ready to worship the Lord with us? Hallelujah. Let somebody say Jesus. Jesus. I serve a God who is wonderful. Never, 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 never
one like my God, oh. Hey, he put food for my table. Ah, that's my God. He fight all my battle. Hey, that's your God. He will never, never fail. He has never, never fail. Who is greater than the overlord divine? the Lord with your dance. Come on now. Baba, 
give you glory, Lord, as we worship you. We give you glory, 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 Lord, as we honor you. You are wonder, 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 wonderful. Yes, Jesus. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. I just want to praise you, Lord. I lift my hands to say. I love you, you, I everything to me, and I exalt your role, I exalt your role
I can tell and I know it's your grace all my days I will sing your praise I can see I can see I can tell and I know it's your
loving you forever, forever and ever. Oh, forever. Go, go. Oh, go, go. Hallelujah to the left, to the left, to. Can we give God a round of applause? Can we appreciate the Lord? Can we just appreciate the Lord? Just give Him a round of applause. Just clap your hands. It says, clap your hands, O ye nations. Oh, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. In the name of Jesus. Oh, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Can we clap our hands for the Lord, unto the Lord for Winners Assembly Choir? Just a round of applause for grace and oil upon their lives. Just a round of applause. A round of applause. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, let's resume. Our, let's, let's take a sit. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're going to continue uh, and just blessing the Lord and uh, uh, we're going to go to testimony part four. Hallelujah. Episode four. Amen. And so, yes, ma'am. It's that time, ma'am. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. I'm just filled with joy looking at you all. We started on Monday. I started uh, my journey as a, as a <laughs> yesterday I went as far as uh, where was I? <laughs> Hallelujah. And I promise you that my sister will be here today. Can she stand up for recognition, please? <laughs> she is the number four. I'm number five. To the glory of God. Praise the Lord. And uh, my nephew-in-law and his family from South Africa, they are here too. Can you please stand up for recognition? God bless you. I'm just seeing them for the first time now. You are welcome. God bless you. Thank you, everybody. You are all so important to me. And for the wonderful choir of Winners Assembly, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. So when we came to America in 96, I told you uh, the process. That's why I mentioned my sister yesterday. Uh, the Lord remained faithful. The Lord remained faithful. And um, we started in New Jersey. And um, to the glory of God, the children, the four of them, are doing tremendously well to the glory of God. Because, you know, I look back and I just wonder why God is just so gracious to me. Because some of my friends that we brought our children together, you know, not everything went as it went for me. So I see the hand of God. God remained very good to us. And as I told you yesterday that six of us left Nigeria and today we are 21. To the glory of God. So from New Jersey, you know, we, 
I was just doing my own thing. I don't want to be recognized. I don't want to be seen in the church. But I know I'm a child of God and diligent in the works that the pastor will give me to do. There will be occasions, 3 a.m. Pastor will call me. There's an issue in so-so place. And I had to get up. 3 a.m. I will go there. Different times like that. I, I had to go and rescue situations. And God's so good because I worked night shift that time. But it happened that those days that pastor will need me, I will be off duty that day. So I will be available to do it. So later on, you know, as I was just doing my thing, pastor said, they will choose you as matron of the church. I said, what does that mean? I don't want to be any matron. Just let me be at the background to do what the Lord has sent me to do. But she just insisted that I cannot say no to whatever God wants me to do. You know, where anything that comes to God, I surrender immediately. So I took that position and um, I continued with the counseling. Because mainly that's the ministry that the pastor was really using me for that time. So I will go back and forth, you know, and God was helping us. So after a while, my husband got a job in a Columbus, Ohio. And the children were all in universities. And, you know, they couldn't move. So we had to leave the four of them back in New Jersey. So myself and my husband came to Columbus, Ohio. And we continued doing what we knew to do. Um, we met a church. And then the Lord was using us to do what we needed to do. So I was in the counseling and in the intercessory. Then I was in the teaching. I do believers class. And to the glory of God, two of my students are here today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, no wonder we are so close friends still today. Sister Rose, God bless you, ma. And my brother, Dickin Obayemi. You know, they, they, don't, they didn't look at me that, oh, this young girl, what is she going to say? When they come late to the class, they will stand at the back of the class. That is fading off in this church today. We don't honor God as we ought to again. It's not me that they were honoring that time. It was the God that I was representing to them. None of them was angry. I, I, I will even feel ashamed that, ah, why are you standing? These elderly ones even older than me. Why are they standing? I said, please go and sit down. They can never hear me say, no, 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 no. I must stand. You know, all those motivated me and encouraged me that these are people that are worthy to be associated with. So I continued. And come that day, we were in the Triumphant Chapel then. Pastor just gave me a form that I filled this form. And you, in June, you will be ordained. I say ordained as what? I don't want any ordination. Just leave me as deaconess and let me be, you know, at the background doing what I know to do best. But because he said, and you will be posted out immediately after the ordination. I said, okay. So we started praying because that wasn't our plan. We didn't have any plan to pastor any church at all. And, you know, the Lord remained faithful. The Lord remained faithful. Despite all odds, despite all odds, God was gracious to us. We started in the hotel 2007, June, June 10 was that actual date that we did the inauguration. The way God moved, it was amazing. So we were in that hotel for 18 months. Different things happened there. We will come on a Sunday 
and the whole hotel will be smelling alcohol. Sometimes we will see condom on the floor, different things. But the Lord saw us through. So we will come very early to tidy up, to clean up before members of the congregation will come. And to God be the glory, Deacon Olabode is still here. Deacon Olabode, are you around? <laughs> Hallelujah. He was the only person that time. He would transfer instruments from the storage to the church. He will carry these things back. He remained faithful. He remained a strong pillar. Until today, he's still a strong pillar in the household of God. On behalf of myself, my husband, I want to say thank you. That you are still with us this 78th anniversary of our existence. I just want to say thank you. The Lord will continue to bless you and increase you on all sides in Jesus' name. I don't have enough words to express my appreciation to him. Since that time we have been together, after 18 months, the Lord moved us to 2782 Westerville Road. We bought that property. And how much were we paying? Because we had enough money to do down payments. So we, the payment wasn't really so heavy on us. We were doing very well. And we were there for uh, how many years? Over probably like 10 years. From 2009 to 2018 that we relocated here. There was a big storm at a time. Almost half of the church left. But I was so confident. Because my trust is in him. That has called us. I do not have any trust in any man. And when people were worried, shaking, ah, Pastor, what do we do? I said, What do we do? What? Let the old church leave. If God is still in the church, I will be fine. And within a month, God showed himself mighty and strong. He brought people of timber and caliber to the church. That I didn't even feel anybody left the church. We continued. God remained faithful to us. And when it was time for us to move again, you know, for like two, three years, we were looking for property. Everywhere we go, they will even look at us, you, you are not serious. Where will you get that money? But because we know the God that we serve, Come that day, our realtor said, uh, there's a property here. Because I had what they were doing in the church before, I said, I don't think I want that place. And with the price they mentioned, I said, ah. Even if they sell me, will I be able to? But reluctantly, that realtor said, let us go there. And immediately I put my feet at the entrance of the church. Or, or, or it was a, a missing uh, temple that time. Immediately I stepped. The Lord said, I have given you for a possession. I was looking back. Am I hearing God or am I hearing different voice? I said, ah, will you give me missing temple for... Okay. So I added it clearly the second time. Then I said, oh, I don't have anything to say again. If it is the Lord that is talking to me, it is the Lord that we want to worship there. Come another problem. Oh, you cannot go there. You cannot buy that property. Oh, there are angels, there are devils flying out of the windows. Different stories. But I heard clearly what the Lord told me. That I have given you for a possession. So when they gave us the price, I, say, I looked at the house and I said, oh, okay, let us just continue. But God became who he is again. He became so gracious. Our great provider. The property that we were in, we put it out for sale. So, you know, I'm trying to cut everything short. 
And we got somebody that said, I will pay you cash. Because when we met the realtor for these people here, he said, he looked at us all. I said, even people that are stronger, they have been here. They cannot afford it. And he looked at me again when they said, this is the pastor. Do you have the pastor? I said, yes, I am the pastor. So we went back and forth. I was telling my people, let's make this offer. He said, ah, pastor, don't do that too. I said, go ahead and make that offer. And you know, we, 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 we the boast of the Lord that is in us. We made the offer. You know, they did not even say a word. They just agreed. And the property that we were in already, we already got cash. So we are almost getting half of what they are demanding to pay as damn payment. God just showed himself mighty and strong on our behalf. And since we have been here, to the glory of the Almighty, we have been increasing. None has been missing to the glory of God. During the time of the COVID, the Lord sustained this church. I cannot express everything in my mind, but I just want us to know that we serve a faithful God. We serve a God that backs up those that are true to him. Our God is a good God. He is a faithful father. He has said he will never leave us nor forsake us. He has never left us. He has never forsaken us. He has been our strength. He has been our succor. He has been our God. He has been our father. And to him be all the glory. You know, when I look back, I, I look at, you know, I was saying it two days ago. That some of my friends, my childhood friends, some died like 10 years ago. Some even before 10 years ago, they have passed. Most of the close friends that I have, they have passed. And, you know, that fear will come on me again. That, ah, all my friends are gone. Probably it's my turn. And devil will tell me when it's like a, a milestone birthday. Oh, you think you will celebrate it? <laughs> but I became bold in the Lord. And I will tell the devil to his face that you have missed it. Because I'm a child of authority and I will not die prematurely. I have that confidence. And God has been sustaining me. Even when I have attacks. When I have attacks. Hey, I will tell them in the spiritual that you have missed it. Because I know the God that I serve. He has promised me I will not die prematurely. I will not die before my time. I will not bury any of the ones that the Lord has given unto me. I held on to that. I held on to that. When anybody is sick, they call me. I just smile. I say, it is not unto death. Because God has told me, nobody that the youngest to die in abundant life chapel will be a hundred years. I stand on that authority. I stand on that word of God. None will die prematurely. I will not bury any and I will not be buried in the name of Jesus Christ. So as I'm celebrating this 70, some people don't understand why I started on Monday. I just want to praise God. I just want to dance in his presence. I just want to roll in his presence. Just to show him that if it were not for the Lord that is on my side, what would I have been saying? But God remained God. I want to encourage somebody here. Hold on fast to God. He's a faithful God. Don't shake. Don't shake. Don't be tossed here and there. It does not matter. Challenges will come. It does not matter. If you are steadfast, if you have faith in your God, He will keep you to the end. And I just thought, celebrating 70, what will be special about it? I know I will have seven days of praise. I have been telling God that is what I will do. When my ministers will be telling me, 
Just take it easy, take it easy. I said, no, don't let me take it easy. I, I, I have a covenant with God that I will dance, that I will celebrate this God for his faithfulness, for his kindness. Because I don't see myself doing what I am doing today. I, I am not that vocal. I talk, but I'm a shy person. I can't face too many people. But look at me today. I can face a thousand people. So when I was turning 60, I thought of writing a book. But you know, I was just procrastinating, procrastinating, and it just slipped by. I didn't do anything. So this 70th, I was thinking it won't go just like that. And to the glory of God, tomorrow we'll be launching five books. Five books to the glory of God. Two of the books is on prayer. That prayer never fails. Prayer never fails. And you can do exploits through prayers. And another passion that I have is about marriages. It's a great passion for me. I love godly homes. I love when marriages are intact. And you know, devil does not want Christian homes to be intact. He wants to throw challenges at you many times. So I wrote two books of marriages. That Jesus can heal your marriage. It does not matter what you are going through. If you dedicate your marriage to Jesus, he's able to take care of you. And he will take care of you. And I wrote the fifth book on Jesus, the burden bearer. As you start to read these books, Holy Spirit will start to minister to you. And it will take you to a new level in the name of Jesus Christ. As you are buying for yourself, I want to encourage you, buy for your friends. For the newlyweds, buy for them. And as you are doing this, Jehovah himself will reward you in the name of Jesus. Another thing that I wanted to do for my 70th birthday. You know, I told you uh, I did six aspects of nursing. I started with psychiatry. For three and a half years, I went for uh, general nursing in UCH. I came back to Jebode. I went to school of midwifery. I went to public health uh, nursing school. I did community health nursing again. I did all these diplomas. To the glory of God, at least, I was very comfortable when I was working as a nurse. I earned six figures as a nurse in America. But I said, that is not enough. If I'm a leader in, in the church... What will I tell the women? What will I tell them that I achieved even at going to 70? So I can boldly tell any of my children here that you cannot tell me you have end finished reading. You must still go ahead. So I went back to school to have my bachelor's. And to the glory of God, this June, I'll be graduating. I'm finishing all my courses by April ending. So I'm just too excited. I'm here to tell God, see what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. What we waited for has come to pass. For somebody here today, whatever is your heart's desire, whatever you are asking of the Lord, because the Lord has brought me this far, because the Lord has seen me and done me well, that same God will show up mighty and strong on your behalf in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever is that mountain in your life, my king and my redeemer will make it to become plain. Whatever is that wall of Jericho, the Lord will make it to become flattened in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for somebody here tonight that every of your prayers, every of your intercession, every of your requests, 
God will make you to carry your manifestations. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I thank you all, and I bless God for you all. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank Amen. you. I didn't want us to be here till 9 p.m. Amen. So can we rise to our feet and we'll just do seven hallelujahs. Are we ready? Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's from 1 to 10. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are excited. Praise the Lord. Can we praise the Lord? Higher, can we praise the Lord? Are you ready for this one? Are you ready for this one? When somebody that is excited, that is joyous, that oh God is good, can you praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, we're going to have a time to praise the Lord. Amen. Together. And I expect that you have your, your dancing energy and shoes on. Hallelujah. It's going to be wonderful by God's grace. Amen. I believe we are not tired of praising God. Shall we rise? Shall we rise? Shall we rise? Today marks the 58th day that we've been waiting. And if you want to shout, 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 shout. Hallelujah. And then in a few hours time, mommy will be entering 70. If you want to shout, shout. So we want to praise God in the next few minutes. And I want us to do it with the whole of our hearts. We'll take this first. You are good, you are kind, you are more than this. Short of words, trying to describe you. Elohim, Elion, Ali Shelewi. Your greatness is all I see. There is nothing you cannot do. There is no mountain you cannot move. If you have said it, choir, then you will do it. If he has said it, Your baby, then he will do it. If he says he will make a way for you, then he will do it. If you say you will reach the very top, then he will do it. If he says you'll be successful in life, then he will do it. Hey, you have a track record of. You are not to stop doing now. Oh Lord, you are mighty. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, hallelujah. Fanta 
Like a winner, man. Oh, when you see me dance, are you sure? Where are the winners? Where are the winners? Are you sure? That's the way we not dance. That's the way we, you know, you are winning. But some Mrs. is is a winner already. The devil has lost it. Let me dance. 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 Oh, yeah, when you see me dance, oh, I dance like a winner, man. I'm 
testimonies you know that God has been faithful indeed God has been faithful as the praises have gone up I know the blessings have come down if you are in the spirit you know the heavens have been opened the heavens have been opened I pray that somebody has tagged along in faith and said because God has done it for our mother in the Lord he will do it for me Jehovah El Shaddai, the King of Kings, Jehovah El Elyon, 
El Elohim Israel certainly we see your mighty hand Bible says you are the God that does not sleep that does not slumber we have seen your hand in the mighty of our of our mother in the Lord we've seen that you're a good God take all the glory take all the honor take all the adoration indeed you have been the I am and the I am in our life indeed you have been the Elohim you have been the Jehovah Rapha you have been a Jehovah Nisi you have been at tabernacle the Bible says I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord who maketh the heavens and the heart certainly we have seen that you've been a pillar and today I pray that somebody's faith has been strengthened that somebody has been drawn closer to you by these testimonies father we ask that you take all the glory take all the honor arise and let the enemies be scattered we seal all the testimonies in the blood of jesus as we are going into this weekend we ask oh lord send your angels on an errand all those that are coming to rejoice things of rejoicing will not cease in their homes in the mighty name of jesus we pray for Johnny masses for those who are still on the way right now they will meet us here safely in the mighty name of jesus the celebrations will continue over the weekend and your name alone will be glorified father we thank you for everyone that's here oh lord almighty nobody will live here without a miracle in the mighty name of jesus take all the glory take all the honor for in jesus mighty name we pray shall we share the grace and fellowship and may the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us all now and forevermore amen surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall do on the house of the lord forever and ever amen praise the lord hallelujah engineering is saying there's pictures amen so don't be in a hurry to leave is that right pictures and